Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Let's get the Lord a hand. Praise the platform tonight. Well, it's a blessing to be back in the house of prayer one more time. Kind of a blessing. Another blessing. Amen. Hallelujah. It's good to be here. Good to see your faces. Thank God to allow us to be here and to come into the house of prayer. House of prayer for all people. Amen. Amen. God is good, isn't he? What a mighty God we serve on tonight. Hallelujah. We thank God for what's going on on the outside. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But the word say, you are my inheritance, my cup of blessing. You got all that is mine. So we're not worried on tonight, but we trust and believe in God that he's going to guard all that is ours. Amen. Hallelujah. And it also said that the eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous. His ears are open to their cry. It said a righteous cry and the Lord hears them and deliver them out of all their trouble. Amen. Thank God for the word on tonight. God is going to deliver us. We already delivered by faith. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank God for tonight. Well, we're going to go into our foundation of scripture. You can just wave at your brother or sister or give them an air bump, however you see fit. It's a blessing to see each and every one face on tonight. Amen. Kind of a blessing. Another blessing. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We're going to go into the word of God on tonight, our foundation of scripture. And we'll be coming from Mark 11, verses 22 through 24. Amen. Amen. And it reads, have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever say unto this mountain, be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but believe the thing, those things which he says shall come to pass, he shall have whatever he say. Amen. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire when you pray, you got to believe that you receive them, and you will have them. Amen. We got to receive it. Amen. Our pastor always taught us on the way going to make our petition. We got to know that God has already done it. Amen. We got to stand on faith on tonight. Stand on the word of God. For we know God is able. Amen. And uh, next scripture, we're going to go to the first, uh, first John, verses 5 and 14. Amen. Our God is a good God, isn't he? And it said and reads, and this is the confidence that we have in him, in Jesus Christ. Amen. That if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petition that we have desired or asked of him. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank God for the promise on tonight. The words say that we will have whatever we say. We got to believe it on tonight. And I just thank God for being in the monks, the saints on tonight. We kind of a blessing. It's another blessing. That's dying my spirit. Another blessing. Thank God for another blessing. Amen. Hallelujah. You can pause yourself. Or we're going to go into pray on tonight. Pause yourself how you desire on tonight. You want to stand? You want to walk the floor? You want to kneel? Long as your prayer will be heard by God. Amen. We're going to call our sister up tonight, and she's going to lead us in, in prayer on tonight. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Bless his holy name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, we just thank you and praise you, Father God, for this opportunity to come before you once again, Father. We just thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Even though the storms are raging on the coast, Lord God, we thank you, Father God. That we have our anchor in you tonight, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Father God, we come before your presence tonight, Lord God. With the heart of thanksgiving and praise, Lord God. In a spirit of humility, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Father God, we come together collectively, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, standing on one accord. Father, you said if two or three are gathered in your name, God. You will be in the midst of us, Father God. We thank you and praise you, Father God, because you are true to your word, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Father God, we just bless your holy name, Father God. We just want to take the time to thank you and praise you, Lord God. 
Thank you for keeping us, Father. Thank you, Father God. Hallelujah, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Father God, we bless your holy name, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Father God, we thank you, Lord, for all that you have done for us, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Father God, we thank you and praise you, Lord God, for being in our midst tonight, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Father God, we just thank you, Father God. We ask that you would create in us a clean heart, Father God. Renew in us, O oh God, the right spirit, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, we thank you, Lord. We come naked before you tonight, Lord God, as empty vessels, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, if there be any wicked way in us, Lord God, we ask that you remove it even now, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, we ask that you remove the anger and bitterness, Lord God, the envy and jealousy, Lord God, any and everything that's not like you, Lord God, backbiting, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, create in us a clean heart, Father God, a clean heart, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, we desire to lift up clean and holy hands before you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you tonight, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Purge us and cleanse us, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, if our ways are not pleasing to you, Lord God, reveal it to us, Lord God, so that we can forsake it, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Father. We bless you, Lord God, because you are worthy to be praised, Father God. In the name of Jesus, we bless your holy name, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Father God, we thank you, Lord God, that we are your vessels, Father God, to be used for your glory, to be used for your honor, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Father God, we thank you and praise you, Lord God, for you are an awesome God. You are a mighty God. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, God. We bless you, Lord God, and we praise you tonight, Lord God, for there is none like you, Lord God. Hallelujah, Father God. We thank you, Father God, even though the storm is raging, Father God. We thank you, Lord God, because you are all powerful, Lord God. All power is in your hand, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Father God, we come tonight in the power and the authority, hallelujah, that you are given to us, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Father God, you said whatsoever we bind on earth, shall be bound in heaven. What shall we loose on earth shall be loosed in the heavens, Father God. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, Father God. We thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. We praise you, Father God. We thank you for your divine protection, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, we thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah, God, that you are our battle axe, Lord God. You are our weapon tree of war, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Father God, we thank you, Lord God. We ask, oh God, that you, Lord God, the God of the battles, oh God, will war on behalf, oh God, of those that already have been impacted by the storm tonight, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Father God, I thank you, Lord God, that you would have mercy, O oh God, on Fort Myers, Florida tonight, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Father God, we thank you, Lord God, that you would send the aid, O oh God, and the rescue that they need, Father God. In the name of Jesus, come to their aid and to their rescue tonight, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Father God, we thank you and praise you, Lord God that you will continue to watch over us and protect us, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Father God, we pray for this region, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Father God, we thank you that your blood covers us, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God, that we are divinely protected, Father God, from this raging storm, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Father God, we thank you, Lord, that you give us power to speak to the wind and the rain, the storms, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Father God, we speak to the hurricane, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, we speak to the eye of the hurricane, Lord God, and we command it to desist in its maneuvers to die in the name of Jesus. Father God, we thank you, Lord God. Oh God, we thank you, Father God, that there will be no more lives lost in this storm, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Father God, we come against the flooding, oh God. In the name of Jesus, Father God, you commanded the waters to come so far, Father God. We come against flooding in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we thank you for protecting our cities, Father God. In the name of Jesus, we plead the blood of Jesus up and down this coast, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Father God, we thank 
thank you that that storm will not come to shore again, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, we ask that that storm be drowned in the Red Sea, Lord God. Just as the Red Sea was opened up, Father God, we thank you, Lord God, that you will swallow the eye of that storm, Father God, that there will be no more harm to your people, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And Father God, we pray for those that are impacted by this storm, Father God. We thank you, Lord God, for the, the, the teams that already been formed, Father God, to, to go and be an aid for this storm, Father God, the rescue teams, Father God, the first responders, Father God. We pray for the medical staff, Lord God. Hallelujah. We pray, pray for FEMA, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Father God, we pray for the, the fire department, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Father God, we pray for our mayor of this city, Father God. Mayor Johnson, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, we pray for all those that are making decisions, Lord God. The law enforcement, Father God, in the name of Jesus. God, give them the wisdom that they need to make the right decision, oh God. In the name of Jesus. And Father God, we thank you and praise you for every family that's represented here in this body, Lord God, that's watching online, Father God, whatever platform, Father God, we stand together believing you, Lord God, that we are protected, Father God, divinely protected, Father God. Lord God, you said in your word, no evil shall befall us, no plague shall come now, dwelling places, Father God. We stand on your word tonight, God, believing you, Lord God, that you are our mighty fortress, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Glory to your name, Father God. You are our mighty fortress, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God, that that storm has to bow to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For there is power in the name of Jesus all by itself, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, Father God. No evil befalls us, Lord God. No plague come nigh our dwelling places. God, we thank you that you protect all that belongs to us. You guard all that's ours, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord. You, you protect our homes, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, you protect our children, oh God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, that you are an aid and assistant to us, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Father, I thank you and pray for those that are homeless tonight, Lord God, that they will find shelter, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that no one will have to stay on the streets, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, that they will find shelter, they will find food, they will find clothing, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for meeting every need according to your riches and glory, Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless you, Father God. We glorify you, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Father God, we come against a spirit of fear. We will fear no evil, Father God. Hallelujah, because we are trusting in you. We are trusting in your word, Father God. In the name of Jesus, your word never fails, Father God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, that you will never fail us, Lord God. You are our buckler and you are our shield, Father God. You are our strong tower, Lord God. You are our refuge and our fortress, Lord God. It's within you that we trust. It's within you that we believe, Father God. In the name of Jesus, our hope is in you, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father God. Oh, God, we thank you that every plot and every plan of the enemy is canceled, Lord God. It will not prevail, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Father God. Lord, we thank you for sending destruction into the enemy's camp, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father God, we thank you for protecting this sanctuary, Lord God. We thank you for protecting this church grounds, Lord God. We thank you that angels are on assignment, Lord God, positioned throughout this this city, Lord God, to protect us, Father. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God, for those that are in low-lying areas, Lord God, that there will be no flooding in their homes, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, we plead the blood around properties, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. And Father God, we thank you for, for providing the finances that people need, Father God. Those that are ordered to evacuate, Lord God, we thank you for supplying their needs, Father. In the name of Jesus, 
Yes, Father God, we thank you and praise you tonight. Hallelujah. We bless you, Father. We glorify you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord God. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You're so worthy of all the praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Father, we praise you for what you have already done, Lord God. And we praise you, Lord God. Hallelujah, because we are victorious in you, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah. Father God, you never lost a battle. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We bless your holy name, God. Hallelujah, for you sit high and you look low, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. We bless you, Father God. We bless you, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for those that are traveling, Lord God, those that are evacuating even now, God. Cover them in the blood, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Father God, we come against tornadoes and the storms, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, we speak to the storms and say, peace, be still. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, Father God. We thank you, Lord God. We touch and agree, Father God. We believe your word, Father God. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Father, you said if we pray your word, it will not return unto your void. Hallelujah, God. We stand believing in faith tonight, Lord God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For you are the God that answers all prayers. Hallelujah. If we pray according to your will, Father God, we know that you hear us, Lord God, and we will receive the position that we so desired of you, Father God. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory to your name, Father. We thank you, Lord, because you are a covenant-keeping God, hallelujah, and you keep your promises, Lord God. You're not a man that you would lie, nor the son of man that you repent, Father God. We thank you, Lord, that we can stand true on your word, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Hallelujah, hallelujah. We praise you because you are an awesome God. We praise you because you are God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You said let everything that has breath praise the Lord. And we praise you tonight, Father God. We praise you for your glory. Hallelujah, Father God. Father, we thank you that as the waters cover the sea, Lord God, your glory will cover this earth, oh God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, Father God, we will not fear no evil, Lord God. Hallelujah. Yes, God, because you are our God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You said the enemy comes as a roaring lion, Father God, seeking whom he may devour. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we thank you that you are the devourer. Hallelujah, God. You will fight on our behalf. Hallelujah. We thank you that you are Jehovah Sabaoth. Hallelujah. The God of the battles. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father. Hallelujah. We praise you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless your holy name, Father God. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you for how you have allowed the temperature to cool down, Father God. In the name of Jesus, that the waters will become cool, Father God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, God. We come against that, that storm surge, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Father God. In in the name of Jesus, what you have built, Father God, we thank you, Lord, that you will not allow the enemy to tear it down. God, you said the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy, but you have come that we might have life and have it more abundantly, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, we recognize the enemy, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, Lord, we thank you that there will not be a loss of lives, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray for those that are incarcerated, Lord God. We pray for those that are in the nursing homes. We pray for those that are in the hospital, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. God, we thank you for your divine protection, Father God. We thank you for your peace, oh God. The peace of God that surpasses all understanding, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for your peace, God. In the name of Jesus, even though the storm is raging, God, we thank you that we have peace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Father God, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, we thank you because there is nothing too hard for you, Lord. Oh, God, we touch and agree with everyone, oh, God, that has a prayer request tonight, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, let it be met, oh God. Let every need be met, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, we thank you that no one will suffer lack or suffer hunger on tonight, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We bless you, Father, hallelujah. You're so worthy, God. You're so worthy, hallelujah. There's no God like you, hallelujah. No God like you, hallelujah. We thank you, Father. You're all powerful. You're all mighty, Lord God. Hallelujah. Father God, you be magnified tonight, Lord God. You are bigger than any and everything that can ever come against us, Lord God. You be magnified, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we speak to the mountains tonight. Hallelujah. And we command them to be destroyed, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, Father God. In the name of Jesus, we bless you, Lord. Let your glory fill this place tonight, Lord God. We thank you for meeting every need tonight, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, God, that those that might have came in burdened, oh God, every burden would be lifted, Lord, every yoke destroyed because of the anointing, oh God, that will come forth tonight, Lord God. We thank you for the word that we be, would be preached tonight through your man of God. Hallelujah. We we thank you that as the word is preached, Father God, it will come forth with power, fire, and authority, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, you said your word is like a hammer that will break the, the rocks, like a hammer that breaks the rocks into pieces, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, you said your word is a two-edged sword, Lord God sharper than your word is sharper than a two-edged sword lord god in the name of jesus we thank you lord god that you will go in and do surgery on us lord god however you see fit tonight lord god in the name of jesus hallelujah be it a word of encouragement lord god be it a word of rebuke father god in the name of jesus father god our hearts are open to receive your word father god in the name of jesus hallelujah we thank you father Hallelujah, hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for your angels on assignment, Lord God, tonight. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we thank you, Lord, that angels, oh, God, are positioned up and down the coast, Lord God. Oh, God, they, they have the sword drawn, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, for your protection, Father God. We will fear no evil, Lord God. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we're going to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, God, we believe your word, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. We bless you, Father. We bless you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. For another opportunity to come before your presence, Lord God. For another opportunity to give you praise, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, God. We thank you, Father God. Hallelujah, 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 God. We thank you for blessing our pastors, oh Lord, of this house, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you that you continue to take them higher and higher and higher in you, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father, that you bless their family, you bless their, their children, Lord God. Everything that they need, God, it's already provided, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, whatever they're thinking, Lord God, that you will manifest it, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless their parents, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for healing sick bodies tonight, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we command sick bodies to be made whole, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, we thank you. We declare and decree, God, that we should live out all of our God-ordained days on this earth, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we declare that we walk in divine health, Father God. We thank you for long life, Father God. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. 
Oh, Father God, you're so worthy. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We bless your holy name, Father God. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we thank you because this earth is yours, Father God, in the fullness thereof. Hallelujah, hallelujah, God. Oh, God, we bless you tonight, Father. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, we thank you that we will, we will rest in peace, Lord God. Yes, Lord, because you never slumber nor sleep, Lord God. We thank you that we can rest in you, Lord God, and rest in peace, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And Father God, I thank you and praise you, Lord for the worship team that's coming forth tonight, Lord God, that they will continue to take us higher and higher in you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, God, we bless you, Lord God. Hallelujah, 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 God. Glory to your name, Lord God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, God, we praise you, God. We thank you, Lord. We magnify you, Lord God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Yes, God, we thank you that praise is come before the upright, Lord God. Hallelujah. You inhabit the praises of your people, Lord God. Hallelujah. You're so worthy, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We glorify you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless your holy name, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory, 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 God. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, God, we thank you that the storm is passing over, Lord God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, God, we thank you that the plans and the plots of the enemy has been canceled, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, we thank you that nothing will catch us by surprise, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for revealing to your servants, oh God. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, Father. Oh, we bless you, Lord, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, glory, 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 glory to your name, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You're so worthy, Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, yes, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we bind up accidents right now, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, God. We thank you, Lord, that as people travel to and fro, Lord God, that they will get to their destination safe, Lord God. Not in a hurry, Father God. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for dispatching angels, for dispatching angels up and down the highways, Lord God, the freeways, oh God, the expressways, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. We bless you, Lord God. Hallelujah, God. We thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Oh God, we thank you for hearing our prayers tonight, Lord God. And we thank you for meeting every one of our needs, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, God. We bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Nothing is too hard for you, Lord God. Nothing is too hard for you, Lord God. Only believe. Only believe. Hallelujah. Nothing is too hard for our God. Hallelujah. Oh, God, it doesn't matter what it looks like. Hallelujah. But we believe the report of the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, God. We believe, Father God, that the sick is healed, Father God. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, God. We thank you, Father. We thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. God, we tie our faith in together tonight, Lord God. Believe in God that everything that has been prayed, Lord God, it is so, it is done in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless you, Father. Glory, glory. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah, 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 God. We praise you, God. Hallelujah, God. We believe it's done, Father God. We praise you, Lord God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 
Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father. It is so. It is so. It is so. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We stand on the word, Father God. We stand on your promises, Father God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every promise is yes and amen. Hallelujah. We stand. Hallelujah. Oh, God, you said when we've done all we know to do, Father God, to stand on your word. Hallelujah. We stand on your word tonight, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. We bless your holy name, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on. Those who are his people, those who are called by him. We worship you, yeah. We worship you, Lord. Yeah. We honor you, Lord, tonight. Come on. We honor you, Lord, tonight. We honor you, Lord, tonight, Lord. We worship you, Lord, tonight. We worship you, Lord, tonight. We worship you, Lord, tonight, Lord, oh, Lord. Lord, 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 Lord. We honor you tonight, Lord. Yeah. You are the God. You are the King of kings. You are the Lord of lords. Come on, just open up your mouth. Come on, just worship him. Just worship him. They that worship, yeah. They that worship, they that worship, they that know their God, yeah. We know who you are, you're a healer, hey. We know who you are, you're a protector, yes you are. We know who you are, yes we do, Lord, yeah. Just lift your voice, come on. Just lift your voice, just lift your voice. He's so worthy. He's so awesome, come on. He's so amazing. He's so righteous. Our great protector. You protect our borders. Our great protector. You protect our borders, come on. Our great protector. You protect our borders. Our great protector. You're covering Florida, come on. Our great protector. Let the storm be silent tonight. Come on. We silence the storm. I need you to open up your mouth and give God a praise all over the room. Come on. We worship you. We worship you. The creator of heaven and earth. We worship you. The creator of land and sea. Lord, we worship you. Give the Lord worship right there. Lord, we worship. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. Everybody say, we worship, say, we worship, we worship you, we worship, we worship you, and the good and bad, you will cover all, we worship you, we worship you, we worship you, yes, we honor you, we honor you, come on, we honor you, it only takes a couple to say, we honor you.
worship will change the atmosphere. Somebody rest in the Lord. Just rest in the Lord. He's got you covered. Rest in the Lord. He's got you covered. Rest in the Lord. He's got you covered. Rest in the Lord. Yeah. You are Yahweh. Come on. Yeah. shine upon you and be gracious to you. Sometimes things that are chaotic take chaotic worship. Sometimes things that are chaotic all around us, it takes you to go deeper. It takes you to go past your comfort level. But if you would go deep, if you would just get in the water, the Lord will raise a standard. Yeah. The Lord will raise a standard. We speak to the waves and the whole ocean, Lord. We say, Peace be still. We say to the waves and ocean, the Lord said, You have the power. To call things that be not as though they were. We speak to the waves and the ocean. We speak to the winds and the waves. You got to resing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are the worshipers? Where are the worshipers? The Lord says, Where are my worshipers? It's only a few of us tonight because that's who's supposed to be here. <laughs> The Lord said, somebody got to worship me. The Lord said, somebody got to come to my house and give me worship. Somebody give God a praise right there on the count of three. I need you to lift your voice. If you know that everything is covered, if you know that everything belongs to you, it's already well. Lift your voice. One, two, three, praise him. Come on. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. Come on. Lift your voice to the Lord. Wait till you feel it. I need you just to go ahead and move. Just go ahead and move. Just worship him. We trust you, Lord. God of David, God of Moses, God of Noah. Yeah, Lord, we trust you, God, tonight. We trust you. For the Lord is good and his mercy endure forever. Lord, bless you and keep you. Cause his face to shine upon you. Anybody need grace? Be gracious to me, Lord. Be gracious to us, Lord. Show us your mighty hand, Lord. Show us your mighty hand, Lord. You can do anything but fail. Show us your mighty hand, Lord. Come on, if you believe, just give them worship right there. I don't even want to move from this place. It's too anointed. Come on. Father, we bless you. Father, we know everything is covered. Everything attached to me is covered. Everything assigned to me is covered. We believe your Stay planted like a tree by the rivers of water. So does my soul long for you. So does my heart long. Ah, it's all you.
make his face shine upon you. Be gracious unto you. Lord, turn his face toward you. And keep you peace. Everybody. One more time, the Lord bless you. Lord bless you. Thank you. Just receive it all over the airwaves. Come on, say. Make his face shine upon Be gracious. The Lord, the Lord turns. Keep us in the midst of a storm. Right here. We say amen, amen, amen. It is so. Amen, amen. We say amen, 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 amen. It is well with my soul. Here in total control, Lord, we say amen, amen. Somebody needs this tonight. Come on, say, may his faith, may his faith be upon you. And a thousand generations. And your family, your children, and their children, and their children. In the morning, in the evening, and you're coming, and you're going, and you're weeping and rejoicing. For you, he is for you. He is for you. In the morning, in the, morning, in the evening, in the evening and you're coming and you're, and you're going and you're, going, and you're weeping, you're weeping rejoicing. rejoicing. He is for you. He is for you. He is for you. He is for you. He is for you.
another opportunity that you've allowed us again to be back into your presence for we do know that in your presence there's fullness of joy and at your right hand there are pleasures forevermore thank you Lord for the prayer on tonight thank you for the prayer of faith on tonight because that's what we as believers do we walk by faith and not by sight and even though we can see certain things with our natural eye but God because of the spirit we believe you, God. We know you're able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or think or pray. We thank you tonight. Even those ones that have gathered themselves into the house of the Lord on tonight. Lord, I thank you for them. It's not that someone is afraid. It's not that someone is more stronger. But it's because we believe, God, by faith that you are able, God. You are able, God, to heal. You are able to deliver. And you are definitely able to set free. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. And I'm just one person, but God, there are thousands of people. There are thousands of believers, if not millions of believers, are tying their faith in together, God, even tonight, even right now, God. So, God, we tell you, thank you that you said the effective fervent prayers of the righteous avail it much God so we thank you we give your name glory we give your name honor we give your name praise for the word of faith in Jesus name we pray amen amen put those hands together and give the Lord praise all over the building come on if you're in the house tonight I want you to just go touch somebody just help them and tell them it's good to be in the house of the Lord hallelujah come on go tell them it's good to be in the house of the Lord Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Shift them over. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor again, say, it's just good to be in the house of the Lord. It's good to be in the house. Aren't you happy? Amen. I'm happy. How about you all? I'm happy to be in the house. Aren't you happy? Come on. Let's give the Lord a praise. I'm happy. I'm happy. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I'm happy. I'm telling you, I'm happy. Somebody's in the hospital tonight. Somebody's sick and somebody don't know where their next meal going to come from. But many of us that are, have assembled ourselves in the house on tonight, we give God glory, we give God praise and honor for all that he has done. And I'm like the saints again, and for all that he is going to do. How many of you want to just praise him for all that he's going to do? Amen. I say all that he's going to do. Amen. 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 So desire, come shift over some of you all that can just... Help me in this little spot right here, you can. And y'all know how I feel about this little spot right here. It look like a little toothache right here. So, amen. So let's get over there. Let's just come close over there. Amen. Good. Thank you all. Thank you all. I know those are watching yours on tonight. I, I give God praise for our, our online watchers and viewers on tonight. So let's put our hand together for them on tonight, for them watching on tonight. That's a blessing of the Lord on tonight for all those that are watching online on tonight, thank you. That's good. That's good. That's great. I love that. Come on around. That's right. Just come on around. Amen. Do like you're doing. Amen. That's 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 good. That's good. That's so good. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Miller. 
Thank you, thank you. Come on up here, that's it. Y'all come on up here. Y'all come on, you and Sister Patrick, get on up here. That's, that's right, that's right. I love that there, I love that so much. Amen, God is great. And he's greatly to be praised, Sheila. He's greatly to be praised. <laughs> he give God, we give God all glory. And we give God all honor. We give him all praise, amen. I do want the church to be praying for Sister uh, Sheila McLeod uh, on tonight as well, the transitioning of her brother. Uh, we have not got a, been able to talk with her. We know that the family is uh, still going through uh, preparing for the service. But I do ask everyone, let's continually to pray for the McLeod family, Sister Sheila, in our prayers. And again, I'm so happy that Mother Jadon is back in the house of the Lord with us on tonight. And I ask her, so let's continue to pray for her and her father and the whole family uh, that the Lord will continue to strengthen them even now as well. God is just great. Amen. Let me do say this here as well. Um, we do know a lot that is taking place, and I'm, those that are watching, those that are in the house, um, you know, to get all the forecasts of what's happening and taking place between tomorrow and Friday. So I'm praying that everyone uh, just be in a place that we know God, He's going to cover us. How many? That's, that's faith, y'all. That's, that's faith. That, that's, that, that's, that's, that's faith. You know, and that's, that's all we have. I know what we see. And that's why the scripture teaches us a lot, while we look not at the things which are seen. Because the things are really are just temporal. It's the things that are not seen as eternal. And we walk by what? Faith and not by what? Sight. Now, one thing Dr. Price used to always teach us, we do not walk in presumptuous faith. We, we're not ignorant to the fact of certain things that happen or take place. But the very fact of the matter that God has the last word in everything. And we're going we're gonna to allow him to do what he will do now. My daughter, as she was praying on tonight, it just it blessed me because even Jesus in the book of Matthew, the Bible says he spoke to the winds and the waves. Amen. And they obeyed him. And he said the same power that he has, he said the same spirit that rose Jesus from the grave, it also dwells in our mortal body. And so we can speak those things like he spoke them and we can believe God for them. Amen. I was talking to some of my relatives in St. Petersburg area, in the Fort Myers area, and I was praying with them on today, two of my cousins, and I'm believing God, that God is gonna watch over them and their families, and, and I believe that God's gonna take care and he's gonna protect our city as well, amen? So that's what we stand on, amen? We stand on that, and I'm just thankful that y'all came out tonight. So give your own self a hand, right? <laughs> you came out tonight, amen. That's a blessing of the Lord for me. It really is a blessing of the Lord for me on tonight. Let's get ready to go into our word on tonight and, and hear what the Lord is saying to us um, again in this, in this service. Let me, let me definitely get this over to us on tonight. We do give thanks for this time of the year. I do want us to get that. We do give thanks for this time of the year. This time of the year, especially for Greater Works Ministry in the month of October, it's a time of, of sowing uh, for the continuous uh, promotion uh, support of the kingdom of God. And I want you to make sure you understand that more than anything. When we sow in the month of October, it's an opportunity, especially for us to continually to promote, especially the work of God. Now I want you to get that and I want every believer to get it so you can get that in your spirit because that's, that's very, very, very important for me to get that over to you on tonight, that that's what we do. So let's, let's go to Genesis chapter eight and verse number tw uh, 22. That, that can start us off real good. But keep this now because this is very, very important to me. This is very, very important to me to get this over to every man and woman, especially in this ministry. Uh, we give this time of the year uh, for the promoting the work of God, the work of the kingdom. That's, that's why we do what we do in the kingdom of God. And that's why we sow. That's why in October, uh, many people that know the, the principles of Greater Works Ministry in this area of sowing, we sow two times a year. That's in the month of March, and that is also in the March uh, month of October. And all of us know it, uh, and I know I have not been per se stressing it or putting it out there so strong, and I know I have in the past three teachings that I've done, uh, but that's sowing our own finances and, and it's personal seed, and I'm gonna give us as much as God will give me on tonight to give us, because I've just been praying for some things that are happening that are taking place in some people's life. And I could personally say in my own personal life right now, I, I said it to you on Sunday, it don't add up, you know, it, do, it don't add up. You know, but so so I'm not the type of person that I, I have been able to get everything right. Uh, I know this and I know that. I just know the very fact of the matter, what God has done, is doing, and will continue to do in my life. Uh, with man, it is impossible, but, but with God, all things are possible. But I do know at the end of the day, only you could have done this, God. 
You know, so if I look on this hand and I know what this hand look like, and then on this hand you show me plentiful, I don't really see plentiful. All I see is what this situation can look like in my personal life right now. So really and truly, the reason why we so, and those that are watching, I want to say to so many, had a young lady stopped us yesterday, we was out. Young lady had never seen her before, and, you, and I'm sure you probably watch it tonight because you did say that. You watch it so every Wednesday and every Sunday, uh, just came up to us and just let us know that uh, she is like really an online member and she's been watching and, and just connected to our ministry uh, through Facebook or uh, YouTube and so I'm so thankful and so happy. So a lot of people do not know this particular principle that I've been teaching for the past 26 years. Uh, so the month of October, we saw a financial seed and these are some areas why that the Lord wants us to get it. Because sowing seed is an act of faith. When you sow financially, your financial seeds is really totally acts of faith. It's an act of faith. A lot of people, and I see a lot of people where they are at today in life today, and I know it is a result of them sowing into the kingdom of God. You know, some people, when some people watch me or see me as well, and some people sow into my life, uh, that's because we, we live by biblical principles of God. I said it on Sunday morning, so write this, and it's simple, it's very simple, but we are. We are a word, word church. We are a word church. Uh, we, we try to abide in the word of God. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you can ask whatever you will. So we're not just an emotional driven church. And, and, and I'm one who love worshiping and love praising God. But at the end of the day, I do know that everything that is happening or has happened or is happening in my life is a result of the word of God. So that's why I want you to make sure you get that we are. If you ever thought about Greater Works Ministry, if you ever thought in any kind of way, I want you to know that we are a word church now. We, we don't take one part of the word and just say, no, that is not for me. We take all. The Bible says all the scripture, all scriptures has been given by God for inspiration and doctrine for reproof. Now, that's that's Bible. I, I can't take away from what his word declare. OK, so I want to get this over to us on tonight. Very, very important that we get this in our spirit. There are certain things that the Lord has been giving me. So Genesis 8 and 22 again. Here we go. While the earth remain, uh, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, winter and summer and day and night shall not cease. Uh, I want us to always get this here. While the earth remain again, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, winter and summer, and day and night shall not cease. I want to get this over to sowers on tonight. Never stop sowing. Never stop sowing. No matter where you're at today in life, no matter where you feel like you have felt like you have arrived, never stop sowing. Never stop sowing. That's that's a principle. He gives seed to the sower. He gives never stop sowing. And never when you get to a certain place in life, especially with tithing, because you have to always remember at every level requires faith. Every level, even with your tithing, as God increases your life. And not only as he increases your life, but as he starts establishing and putting things into your hands uh, that you are responsible for, do not allow those things, again, to interfere, interfere with your faith. Now, those things can interfere with your faith because you can go to looking at that. Oh, I got a car now. Once I didn't have all of these things. Once upon a time, I didn't have the responsibility that I had when I was on G Street. When I was on G Street, I had no responsibilities of what I have today. None. I have no responsibility. From G Street to here, it was a whole nother level. It is a whole nother level. So watch this here. Every level requires faith. So be careful even when you begin to uh, increase, God increase in your life. Just always be careful and always have a mindset that everything belongs to God. And I cannot shortchange God. I cannot shortchange God. That's in my personal life because it's called always continuously in my personal life caused me Mark, personally to always have a level of faith because I know what I'm believing God for and I know what got me where I'm at today. And it was my level of sowing and I cannot diminish or cause that to, to, to take a back seat because now I got a car here and I got another car here and I got a house note here and now I'm, you know, been able to get this here and get that and, and, it's, and it's causing a lot of other things to go out of my possession financially wise. So I have to keep that mindset that I can never stop sowing, never stop sowing financially now. Financially, you see, you see. That's why he said, while the earth remains, there will always be seed time and harvest. And again, now 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse number 12. Now, it's very, and I, it, it, might, it could confuse you, but I don't want it to confuse you because I got some things I want to show you in this. So, for as, as woman came from man, listen now, listen to these areas here. For as woman came from man, even so man also comes through woman. But all things are from God. I want us to get that. But all things are from God. Okay, everything you have and everything that I have, all things are from God. For as woman came from man, 
Even so, man also comes through woman. But all things are from God, seed and fruit. And a lot of times when people look at those two there, you see the fruit. But before there could be a fruit, there had to be a seed. And I want us to get this here because these are two areas in our personal life when it comes down to seeding and understand how the power of seed is and how God operates. So if he says, well, as woman came from man, even so man also comes through woman, but all things are from God. Everything that you and I have today is from God. Let me give you something else that the Lord has been giving me. Um, um, first, well, second, second Timothy is very, very important that you get this here. And I want you to keep this here because I'm probably come back to this. But all things are from God. Now, that's very, very important now. But all things are from God. All things from God. Uh, 2 Timothy 2 and 6. I want you to get something in your spirit. 2 Timothy 2 and 6. The hardworking farmer must be first to partake of the crop. Now, anytime as you are, here we go, sowers working, working for a harvest, tilling the ground, sowing, because at every level, I want you to get this again, at every level requires a level of faith now. The hardworking farmer must be first to partake of the crop. Now, one scripture that I had to tie this in, which is something that I love so much, and that's Proverbs 22 and 29. Now, remember this here. Now, remember 2 Timothy 2 and 6 now, but also, do you see a man, listen, who excelled in his work? He will stand before kings. He will not stand before unknown men. Okay, Pastor, why are you pulling all that together? Because there's about to be a, a, a level of increase will come so in your life that you're going to understand it, it came from your, your work. It came from you doing something. Because faith without what? Works is dead. It's, it, 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 it all comes together. Faith and work. When we saw Abraham faith, when he offered up Isaac, it was his faith and his works. So even if you go back into that second Timothy uh, real quickly in two and six again, it's so important that you get this over. The hardworking farmer must be first to partake of the crop. You're going to see a season that God is going to allow like Amos 9 and 13 from the King James Version. Now put it from the King James Version, Amos 9 and 13, if you can do this for me real quickly, uh, as I can get this over to us. Behold, the days come, says the Lord, listen, that the plowman, the plowman shall overtake the reaper and the treader of grapes, him that soweth seed. Now, I want you to get this now. As you plant in seeds, as I plant seed, as you plant seed, you will always see or you will always experience years of reaping. I want somebody to get this in. I want to say this again. It might not be from 2021 or 2020, but you're going to experience not long from now years of harvest. And it's going to overtake you. And it's not going to just always just come back just financially. No, every dream and every promise that God has said to you and every prayer request that you have offered to God, that's going to be harvest in your life. Because don't nobody know how you pray to see that that child get saved man, and see that that child get delivered and see that that child. Come on. That's harvest, too. That's on your knees. That, that's all during the midnight hours with your face up to the ceiling and praying and believing God that God going to save your children. And when God saved your children, you got to understand that as much is given again, much is required. So just as when you was praying and when I was praying that God saved my children, it don't cause me to back up on God. I got to keep on praising God because that's a part of my harvest. And if I want to continue to see this, continually to manifest, even when they're 30 and 40 and 50 years old, they'll still be loving God. They'll still be praising God. Come on, you all, because that's still a part of my harvest. That's a part of my harvest. My harvest is not always just in just finances. No. When I start seeing certain things are happening and taking place in the lives of people, that's a part of my harvest. When I see what God's doing in some of the many of the young people in this ministry today, and, and no matter where they at in life today, because maybe all of them not the same. But at the, at the end of the day, if God still got them in the earth, he's going to do a work in their life. If we continue to pray and if we continue to intercede, they're going to come to be all that God wants them to be. Shout out loud because they are my seeds. 
oh, I need, I, and I will not give up on my seed. If I done sow the seed toward the youth, I am believing God that God going to save every young man and boy that come through this ministry. And I need 20 people to just give God a praise on that there because it don't matter what try to come. That's a part of my harvest. That's a part of my harvest. Let me see if I can get something in our spirit on tonight. What the Lord has been showing me again. Okay, when you look at these particular areas, uh, what the Lord is saying, every seed sown into the kingdom has a future. I want you to write that. Every seed that is sown into the kingdom has a future. Has a future. Every seed that is sown into the kingdom of God, it does has a future. I want you to write this down as well. God is wanting you to be a kingdom provider as well as a kingdom giver. That, that's a part of you and I as we sow into the kingdom of God because God is desiring, he's wanting you and I to become a kingdom provider that when he needs us, you remember a couple of years ago, I taught when God needs you to use your faith, he doesn't have try, time trying to convince you. You have to just step out on faith. When God is desiring for you and me to use my faith, especially in the area of seed, because watch this again, I, I said this when I want to get this over again. We give this time of the year again for promoting the work of God or promoting the work of the kingdom. So when God needs my seed and my seed is to continually to promote the work, the work that he has put in this earth, that he's looking for me, he needs me to use my faith. So whatever he needs me to use my faith at, whether it's my faith is at $10 of a seed, whether my faith is at $20 of a seed, whether my faith is at $50 of a seed, whether my faith is a $100 seed, whether my faith is a $1,000 seed, whatever that seed that God impresses on your heart to sow into his kingdom, it is for the promoting, it is for the lifting, it is for the advancing of the kingdom of God. And I need you to get that in your spirit because that's very, very important. That's very, very important. Certain things that you, you, you probably see in this ministry, you will continue to see them. In a few more days, you're going to see another facelift on this ministry here. Just today, we just had some work done on the roof today, just today, because we know that it's always, always having to advance God's kingdom. Sometimes you don't even see it. Sometimes the little things that you don't see have, has a lot that we have to give a lot of attention to. It's the small things that you don't see. The, the, the things that you really don't see is the thing that needs most attention to. And a lot of people really don't believe that. A lot of people don't even know that. Uh, it's the little things. It's the little things. Because a lot of people, they, they need to see the big things. They need proof. But actually, it's the little things that need more attention to. Your oldest child don't need as much attention to that baby do. Oh, help me somebody. So it's a lot of things that the kingdom of God it has to have attention to, to keep it up, to keep it up, to make it better. So a lot of time when we give into the kingdom of God, we give for, again, for the promoting, for the lifting, and for the advancing of the kingdom. And God, here we go again, he gives seed to who? The sower. And he gives bread to who? The eater. Let's go to 2 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse number 6. Maybe the Lord can help me in this as well again. 2 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse number 6. Okay, this, this, this is something that has been so, so heavily in my spirit these past couple weeks, and I, and I do believe that the Lord wants you to have it. Uh, verse number six, uh, it said, but this I say, he who sows sparely will also reap sparely, and he who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Now, that's very, very important, verse number seven. So let each one, so let each one, listen, this, this, is, the, this is a good place right here, so that you always know that, here we go, and I love this so much. That's why I always tell people when you give, this, this is the way the Lord blesses too now. He blesses when you, when you don't give grudgingly or of necessity. For God loves, again, what kind of giver? He loves a cheerful giver. He loves a cheerful giver. That, that's the, and I love to give. I, I, personally, I love to give. Personally, that's why I know my, my life is blessed, my ministry is blessed, because I love to give. Is there still some things that Father's working on me in? Yes, there's still some things he's working on you in, too. But he ain't working on me in that giving. Because I got that one locked down. I really do. I got that one locked down. I got that one locked down. I don't, I don't need no one to force me to do it. You know, because if you go back to it when he say he loves a, a cheerful giver, that word cheerful again, you got to keep it now, it's, it's a hilarious giver. And the hilarious means an eager person a person who is willing to do it because they understand not just the benefit from it, but they understand what it does to God. God loves a cheerful giver. Listen to what it says. That is very, very important that we get that. God loves a cheerful giver. He loves a cheerful giver. For God so what? Loved the world. That's what he did. He gave his only begotten son. 
Okay, so he understand that area of giving. For God loves a cheerful giver, verse number eight. Let's look at verse number eight real quickly. And God is able, and I love this, and I want every believer to get this in your spirit. And even though many of you all that are sitting here, you don't need it because you're very, very knowledgeable of the scripture. But I have to continue to get this in because faith comes again. How? By hearing. And hearing how? By the word of God. Sometimes I tell Father all the time, too, I got this down, God. He said, I know you do. I know you got this down, but I need you to continue to get this in your spirit because this is my way of doing. This is my way of being. And God is able. Here we go again. And God is able. And I love this here because this is so, so important. So people can get this here. We all can get this here. Put that verse from the Amplified Version if you can real quick. I know I probably should have told you to prepare you for it anyway. But just give me that from the Amplified Version, that verse right there, verse number eight. You know, he's able to make all great. Here we go. Let each one give, verse number seven, let each one give, listen, as he purpose, uh, as he has made up in his own mind and purpose in his heart. This is so good. This is so good to me. Not reluctantly or sorrowfully or under compulsion, pressure. Somebody pressuring you to do something. Somebody pressuring you to do something. You don't even give when it's like that. that. That's why people can count the people who've been to this ministry, especially in this pulpit, because I'm not going to allow no one to ever be in this pulpit to pressure anybody in giving, because you should never give that way anyway. You never give out of fear. You give out of faith. If we all ever learn that, and I know we got it. Don't, when, if I raise my voice, I ain't saying you ain't got it. <laughs> You know, I'm just, I'm just passionate when I talk like this. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I, you got it. You got it. You know, you, you got it. And I understand this. But I wanted us to get it over us because, again, faith again comes again. How? By hearing. You got to hear it over and over. You got to hear it over and over. Oh, I love this. I, I love it so much because there's so much going on in my, in my life right now. And I'm having to go ahead and, and go over this here over and over, even if it sounds like elementary. And people say, I got this down. Cool, cool. But there's still some people under financial pressure. And I want to speak this word right now. God is about to lift anyone in this building on tonight under any kind of financial pressure. Now, now, now listen, he's not going to do it until you receive it. If you're watching, if, you, if, you, if, if, if you're trying to fake it, he know you're faking it. He only looking for people that sincerely say, God, I believe you are getting involved in my finances. God, I do. I believe you're getting involved in my finances. And watch this, here. and at every level you need God involved in your finances. I need, thank you. I, I'm serious when I teach this here. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm very serious about this here. Because why? Every level of responsibility is going to always cause a level of faith. Especially if it's involving any type of finances. Any type of finances. Any type of finances. I thought I was free from finances, especially for the kingdom when we paid this building off. But then we build a 40,000 square foot building. Now it's requiring, or requiring another level of my faith. Even during the pandemic, when the pandemic started, the third week of March, 2020, and I asked God, my God, this whole, the world is shutting down and, and you, you got me out here. Come on, this, am I about to be a, a laughing stock? You're talking about a level of faith. You're talking about anxieties. You, you're talking about every kind of thing that was going on in my body that I never thought would be going on. I couldn't even share certain things with certain people. Certain people say, I understand what you're going to do. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Because that now it requires me to step out on faith. I just prayed a few days ago, which God has already provided it for. I got to sow seed. I have to sow seed, and this kingdom has to sow seed. Why? So we can always stay, I hear the Lord say, on top. I need 20 people right now. Don't be ashamed to say, I want to be on top. I want to be on top. I want to. See, the, see, the enemy don't want us to say stuff like that, because that, 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 that sounds like, I want to stay on top. I want to stay on top. I want to stay on top. He always calls us to what? Triumph. That means he always calls us to win. He always calls. Thank you. Thank you. He always calls us, we, 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 won't, we won't be slack. We won't scale back. That's why tonight, when I, when I went to thinking tonight, I said, oh, no, God. God told me, he said, you know what? He said, he say, really, son, I'm really raising up real prayer warriors. He said, I want to raise up some prayer warriors to do what I did in Matthew. I spoke to the wind, and the winds and the waves, they obeyed me. 
He said, I'm not, and, and yes, and I'm like, Father, I see what's going on, and I know what's going on. He said, but what you going to do? You're going to sit in that room, and you're going to go ahead and just let the enemy go ahead and ramshack over this community when you can step outside of your house, and you can speak to the winds, and you can speak to the waves, and you can tell them to go, go come on, go back. He said, you can even say to this sycamine tree, be rooted up. Be rooted up. And he said, and it will obey you. I need 20 people to give God a praise. It will obey you. Guess what I just heard him say? If you understood the power of the seed, the seed, the word of God. The word is seed. The word is seed. Jesus is seed. Finances are seed. What do we do with it? Do we use the seed of the word and speak? What do we do with it? What do we do with it? Did my grandson, did, did, did they see a play tonight? They already gone? They won? Oh, okay, good. I didn't know they won now. I ran into the coach yesterday, so they, could, they canceled the game from Friday, but they had to go today to Augusta. When I listened to the coach tell me that, I was one of them was like, you sure y'all going to take them kids like that? Then I asked them how they was charting them. Are y'all going to charter them on the school bus? Are y'all going to take them on? Oh, y'all don't want to say amen. amen. But you know what that did? That made me pray even more. Yes. Lord, dispatch your angels. Because if they ain't canceling the game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if they ain't canceling a game. If they got enough faith, we going to Augusta and coming back. We got enough faith to get to the house of God and pray to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I need 30 people to open up your mouth. That's, that's the kind of faith we got. And we got a faith. I heard, I think Laurent was saying, it, uh, uh, it's Psalm 16. Is it Psalm 16 and 2? If it's Psalm 16 and 2, put it up. I just, I just heard it. If it's Psalm 16 and 2. Yeah, uh, 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 I, I, I think I, I know I'm there. I know I'm there. Say it again, Deacon Minister uh, Miller. 16 and 5. That's it. Thank you. That's it. Y'all good. Oh, Lord, you are, my, you are the portion of my inheritance and my cup. You maintain my life. Is it the message Bible, nigga? Put it in the message Bible. Put it in the message Bible. I heard this so just a few days ago, way before. My choice is you, God, first and only. I better get out of him. I really better get out of him. See, the word does something to me. Because I'm just crazy enough to believe it, y'all. And now I find I'm your choice. You set me up with a house and a yard. Then you made me your heir. Am I going to believe this? I mean, really, am I going to believe this? Am I really going to believe? Oh, I got to see something here. Yeah. Yeah. I want to verse number seven. Go to verse number seven. Something else I want to give you. Yeah, go to verse number seven. The wise counsel God gives you, I'm awake. Is confirmed by my sleeping heart. Nah, that's what I wanted. Day and night, I stick with God. I got a good thing going. <laughs> and I ain't letting it go. <laughs> and, by, and you know what, y'all? We can go home if I got to go home now. I got a good thing going. And I ain't letting it go. The principle of the seed has, has really blessed my life. I challenge, and I'm, I'm, I'm speaking this by faith on tonight, that every man and every woman on tonight, and those that are watching, those that are in the house of God on night, in October, when you sow your seed, the third Sunday in October, I'm telling you, just, just mix it with faith. You know, I'm learning more and more every time the Holy, Holy Spirit drops something, a particular verse of scripture in my heart, he want me to give it to you. Just mix it with faith. Hebrews 4 and 2. 
Hebrews 4 and 2. Please, please, please just mix it with faith. And, and, and you know the TPT translation, I think I read it, I read it the other day in the, uh, in the Passion Translation. He gave, it, gave me something as well, the TP translation. Hebrews 4 and 2. Yeah. For we have heard the good news of deliverance just as they did, yet they didn't join their faith with the word. Instead, what they heard didn't affect them deeply, for they doubted. Listen to how this says this again. Go back to that again. For we have heard the good news of deliverance just as they did, yet they didn't join their faith with the word. They didn't join their faith with the word. Instead, what they heard didn't affect them deeply. They wouldn't even... They wouldn't even move. They wouldn't even move by the word. It didn't do anything to them, for they doubted. See, you and I, I said this not long ago, I was at another ministry. You and I can't, can't continually hear the, hear the word and don't act on it. We have to act on it. It's almost like, let me give you this 1 Corinthians chapter 16 before we leave on tonight. 1 Corinthians chapter 16 and verse number 2 and verse number 3. Paul says this here because it's very, very important. Okay, so giving should be regular. I want you to get this here. Listen, he says, on the first day of the week, let each one of you lay something aside, storing up as he may prosper, that there be no collection when I come. He was talking to the Corinthians church. Go, just go back, go, just go back to that verse one more time. I know it said verse three, I'm sorry. But listen, he was trying to teach us how to give regularly. I want you to make, make sure you get that in your spirit. That's why he said, on the first day of the week, on, in other words, each first day of the week, however God blesses you, he said, let that individual, let that person lay aside something. Make sure you understand that. That's why I had to learn that over the years of my life. You know, I try definitely not to be an inconsistent soul because I'm definitely not an inconsistent tither because I tithe the first of the month. That's, that's it because I know what it's going to be like for me. So that's, that's, that's like, that's like, that's, that's clockwork though. But Paul, and I want you to get this now, it's very simple what I just said. He was teaching us how to give regularly. That's, that's regular giving. This, this is a part of your life. This is a part of your life. Make this regular. Don't, don't, don't even, don't even miss this mark. So that's why he was, he stressed it on the first day of the week. Let each one of you lay aside, storing up as he may prosper, as he may prosper how you want to prosper, how you want to be a blessed. Proverbs 10 and 22. Let's get that real quickly. Proverbs 10 and 22. So important that we get this in our spirit. Now, the Lord said he's going to bless families. And every man and every woman in here, if you want to receive that, receive it. The Lord said, I'm about to bless families. I'm about to bless families. Somebody receive this now. I'm going to go through your whole household. I'm going to go through your whole household. I'm going to go through your whole household, your sons and your daughters, your grandchildren and all. I'm about to bless. And God told me to tell you right now, he said, now, go through the process. It's not overnight. So some things that you hear might don't take place until another four or five years. But you're going to look back one day and say, man, God's word is something. Some, some things that I'm reaping right now probably took five, ten years ago. But I'm seeing God doing it. I want to jump off this, this pulpit right now. I want to thank him for some divine health right now. Is there anybody doing this, this crazy season that we've been in almost three, four years? You about don't even know where to go at during the day or the night or the week. You're praying more and more every day. And every time you're sniffing, every time you get a headache, you're thinking something. I want to thank God I ain't lost my taste, smell, or nothing. You ain't got to say amen. Now, I give God praise for it. I don't know what I'd do if I lose my taste. Much as I like to eat, my taste, what? I give God praise for being able to taste. Smell. Twenty people giving praise that you're able to smell the pots cooking. Thank you. That you're able to come on, y'all. See, this those little things again that some people take lightly. I don't take it lightly. God, I thank you. 
Hallelujah. That you've kept me. So if, if I'm living out of Malachi chapter 3 right now, he said, and I will rebuke the devourers for your sake. I will rebuke the devourer for your sake. That's because of our giving. Hush, devil. Hush, hush. You try to tell me, talk. You, I know you'd be glad when all this teaching of giving is over with. No, I ain't glad. Because I'm going to keep on teaching because somebody's about to be free. I said, somebody financially is about to be free. Somebody, can I give that to 20 more people? I'm telling you, I believe it. Wait a minute. God said, tell them again. What I'm about to do, don't add up. He said, tell 20 of them what I'm about to do. If you don't receive it, I'm going to receive it. Because God told me to tell somebody, it don't make sense. He said, what I'm about to do, it don't make sense. He said, but if you in this house and you want to receive that word, he said, tell them to give me a praise right now because what I'm about to do don't make sense. I'm telling you it don't, it is not going to make sense of what God going to do. It's not going to make sense. It's not going to make sense. I say, it's not going to make sense. I say, it's not going to make sense. I need 30 people right now to get this in your spirit. What God is about to do, it don't even make sense. It don't even make sense. It don't even make sense. You're going to really think you're his favorite child when he do what he's about to do. Come on. Oh, I wish I had somebody to go ahead and receive that. You're going to really say, Daddy, they're going to be mad. Daddy, they're going to be mad, Daddy. Daddy, they're going to be mad, Daddy. Daddy, they're going to think you are you always doing this for me. Daddy, come on. Daddy, they're going to be mad, Daddy. And Daddy, they're going to be mad. They say I'm small, Daddy. Daddy, they say you give me everything I want, Daddy. And that's what he said, too. He said, I'll be a father to you. Come on, somebody. That's what a good father would do. He say, if a good father would leave an inheritance for his children's children. The Lord just told me to tell you, yeah, Lord, I didn't even want to say that. He said, say it again. They're going to be mad. They're going to be mad. They're going to be mad. What am I about to do with you? They're going to be mad. They're going to be mad. Look, I'm going to load you down daily, daily, daily with benefits. I'm going to satisfy your mouth with good things. Oh, my God. He said, I'm about to set you up with a house and a yard. Oh, my God. He said, I'm about to give the work to the heathens so they can bring to them that are good in my sight. I need 30 people to give God a praise right now because God is about to do it. I told you we're a word church, right? We're a word church. We're a word church. He wouldn't have put it here if he didn't want me to believe it. I said he wouldn't have put it here if he didn't want me to believe it. He wouldn't have. Oh God, he said give it to him. He said give it to him again. Job, Job, 22, Job 27. I have to always go back to this sometime. Job 27, verse number 16. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 27, Job 27. Job 27, verse number 16. Job chapter 27. Though he heap up silver like dust. My, my, my. Y'all about better pray me out of here because I'm telling you, I'll be them hollered in a minute. I know. Though he heap up silver like dust and pile up clothing like clay. Verse 70, he may pile it up, but the just will wear it. Oh, that thing that you've been window shopping for so long. God said you will not be window shopping too much longer. Oh, I wish I had somebody. Come on, son. That pocketbook, that bag that you always see, God just told me to tell you, go ahead and get ready because I'm getting ready to call somebody to give into your bosom. I need 30 people. Matter of fact, he said, you know what you do with two hands? You give with one and receive with the other. I need 30 people right now. Say, I'm giving with one and I'm receiving with the other. Play me out of here. I got to go out of here. You go write that down, Mama. Yeah, yeah. That, 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 that's what that's what it's about. You give with one, and you receive with the other. You receive that. that that's what you do. I saw two hands just then. He said, "Tell them," and that just here. He said, "Tell them." He said, "That's what believers does." What you? Just, oh God, thank you. He always good on this. He said, "Give them scripture enough with Luke six and thirty-eight." He said, "Give them, give, give them scripture now." He said, "You just can't t- leave them out there." Luke six and thirty-eight. Give, give, listen, give, and it will be given to you. Good measures, pressed down, shaking together and running over. 
will be put into your bosom. For with the same measure that you use, you give and you're going to receive. You see, that's what you do with two hands. You give with one and receive with the other. I want somebody to go ahead and get it. Glory to God. I want somebody to go ahead and get it. I want somebody to go ahead and get it. I want some, that's why you can't stop giving. That's why you can't stop giving. You, that's why you can't stop giving. He loves what kind of give again? Chip or giver. Just get that in your spirit. Those that are watching, those that are in the room with me, just get that in your spirit. I mean, I, and I thank you, Holy Ghost, because it don't add up. I've been doing this 26 years, mother. 24 of them for, for full time. 24 of them for, full time. And don't do nothing else. Nothing else. Nothing else. Nothing else. I'm afraid to do something else. I really am. As good as he is to me. As good as he is to me. I got to take care of his stuff first. If I take care of his stuff first, then he'll take care of mine when it's time. And I want to live. I want to live a long life. I want to be like Job. I want to go to my grave in a good old age. Hallelujah. I want my youth to be renewed like an eagle. Hallelujah. I want my sleep to be sweet sleep. I don't want to be trying to figure out how I'm going to pay this and pay that. Because I want to be able to live out of the day that God said that I will provide. I will take care of you. The Lord just told me, Jay, give me that Job, that, that Job one more time, 27. Give, give me that Job 27. Then I think I got to give you Ecclesiastes out of that. Job 27. Give it to me one more time. That's very, very important that you get this year. Job 27, yeah. I love this. I used, this, this these, these two verses of scripture, they always bless my life because I see it happen. And then guess what? It, it, it can happen if you just keep going over and over the scripture. Though he heap up silver like dust and pile up clothing like clay, he may pile it up. <laughs> but the just will wear it. Y'all better get ready. I say y'all better get ready. I say some of y'all better get ready. Hallelujah, Jesus. Go on and receive it, my brother. Go on and receive it. You better get ready. Hallelujah, Jesus. Go on and receive it. Ecclesiastes chapter 2, I think it is as well, in verse 26. Ecclesiastes chapter 2 and verse number 2. For God gives wisdom and knowledge and joy to a man who is good in his sight. Look what he said. He gives wisdom and knowledge and joy to a man who is good in his sight. But to the sinner... He give the work of gathering and collecting that he may give to him who is good before God. I live those particular verses of scripture now. He give the work to the heathen. Somebody say, you calling me a heathen, pastor? No, you just ain't going to be on that job too much longer. Yes. Somebody receive it. Yes. You don't want to receive that? Yes. How many of you got a passion right now? How many of you got a passion right now? How many of you got something that you believe God put in you to do? Yes. Come on. Every, every man and every woman here that believe God gave you something to do, lift your hand. I just believe what, what God has given you to do is going to cause wealth to come in your life. Who want to receive this right now? Come on, who want to receive this right now? I believe what God has called you to do right now is going to cause wealth to come in your life. Write that down. What, write it down because the Lord just told me to tell somebody. The very thing that he done called you to do is about to cause wealth to come into your life. Wealth, wealth, wealth to come into your life. I just heard him say, if you abide in me and my word abide in you, you can do what? Ask whatever you will and it shall be given unto you. I believe that God is about to allow certain things to come in your life and it's going to be a level of wealth. A level of wealth. Oh my God. Let me try to close out on Deuteronomy 28 and 1. Let me try to close out on Deuteronomy 28. Give me verse number 1. Give me verse number 1. Now it shall come to pass if you diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God to observe carefully all his commandments which I command you today that the Lord your God Hallelujah. Sister Rice, the Lord your God, hallelujah, will set you high above all nations of the earth. I want to decree it right now. I'm telling you that the Lord is about to make your name great. Come on. 
I said the Lord is about to make your name great. Hallelujah. Faith comes how? By hearing. And hearing comes how? By the word of God. And the Lord just told me, he said, go ahead and finish this out. He said, and it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. If you diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God to observe carefully all his commandments, which I command you today, that the Lord your God will set you high above all nations of the earth. Be healed, whoever's watching me tonight, sitting in here tonight. Be healed tonight. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed, be healed, be healed. Be healed, be healed, be healed. Be healed from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Verse number two, give me verse number two. Glory to God, I got to try to close on this here. And all these blessings, come on somebody, get ready to receive this here. The Lord said, tell them, go ahead and get ready to receive this here. He said, tell them, go ahead and get ready to receive this here. He said, tell him, go ahead and get ready to receive this. Sir. Lord, I don't know why you keep saying this, but I'm going to say it again. He said, tell him it ain't going to add up. Not what I'm about to do. He said, they going to hear this word in their spirit, and they're going to see this thing breaking their life. What I'm about to do, it don't add up. And he said, you need to shout now, because when I really do it, you going to really shout. When I do what I'm about to do in your life, you're going to really shout. You're going to want to know, Lord, why you gave pastor that word? Why you gave pastor that word? I didn't even understand it then. But what you are about to do in my life, I got to give you praise because it don't even add up. I don't even, it don't even make no sense, God. It don't add up. I never will forget, and I, and I say this is my testimony, I never will forget, I was trying to pay a bill, and the lady kept telling me, Shady, that's paid off. And I kept telling that lady, I said, no, 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 I still owe. I still owe. And that lady said, that's paid off. It's paid off. And the lady in the, in the back, the manager, she came and she looked over her shoulder with the computer at that time. That's when the computer was real big with that big old back on the end of it. <laughs> it was before they got the flat. It was like, and I remember when she came, and I'll tell you where it was at. It was at, you know, when they turn your bills over to the collection agent. Hallelujah. Somebody better not be ashamed. I'm not ashamed. <laughs> I'm not ashamed. I don't care who got them got big and all this, you know. Man, what? When my check's been garnished from. When I know what it's like to be able to say, you know what? I know what it's like when your bills go to the collection agent. Hey! Get me out of here because I'm all right. Because I'm like this, I'm like the saints now. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he done done for more, my soul just cries out. Hallelujah. Lord, I just want to tell you, thank you. Because this thing don't add up. That lady said, she said, uh, that's paid. Then the other one came in the room and she said, the lady, the manager, she came and looked over her shoulder. She said, and that one's paid out. And that lady kept saying to Mother Jordan, I could still see it. She said, and that one's paid out. And every time I pass by that, 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 that building that I used to have to go and pay my collection, my, my, my money at, it's closed today. I said, maybe I closed that building down. <laughs> I, one day, I, and then this is God, I'm true. One day I said, I might buy that building. I did, mother. I said, one day I might buy that building. Because I can remember walking in there and having to pay them people. And that day when God did what he said in the book of Joel, God said, I'll blot it out. Oh, stop, mother. God said, I will blot it out. What blot me? He'll put white out on it. He'll erase it where they can't even see it. Where they can't even see it. He said, I, they can't even trace it. No trace of it. No trace of it. 
I remember I was in Atlanta, Georgia. Many of y'all don't heard this testimony. I was in Atlanta, Georgia, and Bishop Andrew Merritt, he asked for a $200 seat, and that was the last seat I had. I'd been in that meeting all week, and I was praying that they weren't going to ask for no more offerings because I've been giving all week long. And then nobody knew I only had $200 left in my name. And I never will get Bishop Andrew Merritt. After he finished preaching, I just said, oh my God, service over with, at least I got some money to go back home with. As soon as he finished, he said, I asked everyone that can and will to sow a $200 seed tonight. And I sat there and I obeyed. I got up because I had enough word in me. Second Chronicles 20 and 20, believe in the Lord thy God and you shall be established. Believe his prophet and you will prosper. So I didn't question the man of God when he said it. I sold the $200, came back and sat into my seat. His wife, Wanda Turner, she told Mary Jackson, she said, I know his name is Pastor Baker. She said, but what is his first name? And Wanda, and, 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 and Mary said, Mary said, Mark. And she wrote the check and she reached over Mary to give it to me. She said, she said, she said, Pastor Baker, I said, yes. She said, the Lord told me say, to give you this seed. She said, because as, as quick as you release it, that's just how fast it was coming back to you. I'll never forget that night. I'll never forget that night. I'll never forget that night. We got home, and on Monday, I went to our mailbox, and I had a Cadillac at the time, and the title was in the mailbox. And I knew, mother, I hadn't even had that car a good year. And they sent the title to me. I went to the bank and told Miss Faye Allen. I said, Miss Faye, I said, maybe there's been a mistake because you was the one who approved this loan for me. I said, they sent the title of my car. Miss Faye get on the computer. She looked at it on the computer. She said, Mark, she said, that car is paid off. I said, Miss Faye, it can't be paid off because you know it ain't even been a good year I had this car. She said, Mark, the car is paid off. Y'all ain't got to shout. Because he said, if I tell this testimony, he say, some more stuff ain't going to add up. <laughs> and I got some stuff right now. If God want to send the title to me tonight, I'm going to give him some praise while everybody else looking crazy and funny. I want me another testimony of what I know God can do. But everybody, I'm tired of hearing all that. Well, you just going to keep being tired. Because I ain't telling you something happened out of a book. I'm telling you something happened in my life. And that lady, I could hear the Holy Ghost. I kept telling Miss Faye. I said, Miss Faye, I said, you know that I still owe on this car. Miss Faye said, Mark, she said, this car is paid off. I don't know what, but she said, it's paid off. And I heard the Holy Ghost told me, like I'm about to tell somebody in this here tonight. He said, can you receive a blessing? He said, what I'm telling you right now, can you just go on and receive it? Who in here tonight, who watching tonight saying, God, the only way this thing can be done, you got to do it. And he said, if everybody received this word, that it don't add up, he said, tell them I'm going to blow their mind. <laughs> How many right now want to receive it? Woo! God, I'm so crazy enough to believe you. You can do it tonight. I'm so crazy enough to believe, God, that somebody's house just got paid off. I'm, I'm just so crazy to believe you that somebody's hospital bill that's been heavy over them is paid off. I'm so crazy enough to believe you that somebody's son just got saved tonight. Somebody's daughter just came. Uh oh, you you don't want to praise him, Lord. Way before I put my seed in the ground, I'm just to name this seed that God. Whoever you are, the Lord told me to say, whoever you are tonight, He said I'm gonna blow your mind. 
going to blow your mind what I'm about to do. I'm going to blow your mind. You're going to wonder why you've been going through the things that you don't went through these past few months. You're going to wonder why things have not just been. He said, because I'm about to blow your mind. And if I have to, I'm going to say it, y'all. The Lord said, go on and tell you, whoever you are too, whether you're about to move into a new home or not. But what you're in, I'm about to pay it off. Somebody say, well, Pastor Baker, you don't know I got 20 more years on that house. The Lord just told me to tell you he can do it in 20 hours. He said, give me a praise right now like I've already done it. Come on, y'all, give me a praise like I've already done it. Give me some glory like I've already done it. Give me some honor like I've already done it. Hallelujah. Give it to me. God said, give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Whatever responsible, give it to me. Go ahead and praise him. Give it to me. Go ahead and pray. Give it to me. Go ahead and praise me. Give it to me. Maybe that's it, Delilah. Give it to me. Even if nobody else don't want to praise me. He said, every man and every woman that got any kind of responsibilities in this house tonight. And he said, it's been almost like stressful to you at times. Not that you're not able to make the payments or anything. He said, but at some time when you look and you say, God, I'm not going to be paying this all the time. God told me to tell you, go ahead and receive tonight. Because some of you right now, like myself, I cannot see myself paying bills for the next 15 years. Not the same bill. That's your word too? Wait a minute, this, see, this, this, this ain't for people who got it together. This is for people like me. God, I don't see myself paying this bill for the next 15 more years. I don't see myself paying this bill here for the next five years. God, I believe what your word declare. You said all these blessings shall overtake me. Because you obeyed the voice of the Lord your God. Hallelujah. Because you obeyed the, the voice of the Lord your God. G give me that verse 3. Come put your clothes on. Somebody right now tonight, God told me to tell you, he just released you from some type of debt tonight. And if you are in faith for me right now, if you want me to tie my faith in with you, I want you to rush down here real quickly because God told me to tell you, because I'm in faith with you too. He just released you from a car note. He just released you from, come on, a loan. He just released you from I don't know who this for. Thank you. Lord, I want you to keep that praise. I, you, yes. What I felt from you tonight, that's real. Seriously. Seriously, when you, even when my daughter was praying tonight, when I look back at you, I, I, I know the anointing now, seriously. I know the anointing. The Lord told me to tell you, keep that praise. Keep that praise now. Now, now I'm serious about this here because I'm in faith for some things. And some things that's been, been really having to make me stay focused. A lot of distractions. But because my mind is focused on something. My mind, my mind is focused on something. The bishop said something the other day, and I heard him say it again. At every level, it causes me to restructure. Every level is causing me right now, and the, and the painful thing, what I'm dealing with in life today, I'm having to restructure because the weight is more heavier. Everything that I experience, like I tell people, from this here is not like what's over there. G Street is not like what this was. It was a whole nother level of my faith again. And it's almost like God saying, you're about to become a new man. The Holy Ghost just told me to tell some women on this altar tonight, somebody that's watching, you're about to become a new woman. You're about to become a new woman in your mind too, number one. In your mind, mentally, 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 mentally. That's a whole nother level. That's why when Paul said, may the God of all grace, who has called us to his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, he said again, after you suffered a while, I make you perfect, I establish you, I establish you. In my time of prayer today, in my time of meditation today, I've been almost alone all day today. I'm up in majority all day today. I've been alone all day today. All day today. 
I came, I, I just stayed in my office all practically from about three o'clock, two o'clock until service. I came out a moment ago. And I just been having to talk to God. I've been having to ask God. He said, he said, right now you're about to have a lot of structure. You see a lot that you had to do over there, but now mentally, mature wise, it's a lot of restructuring. Because I'm about to do something new. God about to do something new. God about to do something new. God about to do something new. He about to do something new. You ain't never been here before. There's many of you all, the Lord said many of you all, and he said every time I think about it, you know, he told me when I told, I told Deacon Eddie Williams that one time, I said I ain't never been here before. We was coming out of that, that office right there one night. I said I ain't never been here before. How? I, I don't know what I'm doing. I had people laughing at me one time. He don't know nothing he's doing. And I did. I didn't know a thing I was doing. Because I don't have a degree for this. I just have the anointing for it. I have the anointing for it. So everything that I do today, I'm, I'm always led by the Spirit. 26 years I've been having to be led by the Spirit. 26 years of it. 26 years of it. So a lot of things that Father tells me that I tell you, and then what I'm talking about right now, it don't add up. Some things will not add up what God is about to do. But when he do it, you can't do nothing but stand back and tell him, God, I thank you. I need somebody just not tonight to know what God is about to do in your life right now, in this season of your life. And you know, I, I wish he would do it that, that like now. I really wish sometime he would just do it so people could see it. But he wouldn't be God. Because the just lives how? By faith. See, we live by faith. So what he's telling me, it might, it might don't even happen until three more months. Maybe it don't happen until six more months. Maybe it won't happen until another year. But because he's already given me the word, all I have to do is hold on to the word that he's telling me what I'm about to do don't add up. But because you trust me and because you believe me, I'm going to hasten to perform my word. I'm going to hasten to perform my word. I'm going to do this because of you. I'm going to do this because of your faithfulness. I'm going to do this because of your consistency. I'm going to do this because I know you trust me. Receive it, daughter. That's it. Receive it. I'm going to do this. It hashaka. That's it. See, I'm, I, I'm not talking to everybody because every, a lot of this is not in everybody's spirit. But if this word just get down in your spirit, if this word just get down in your spirit, if this word just get down in your spirit, that he said, if I told you what I'm going to do, you wouldn't even believe it. So you got to walk by faith and not by sight. You can't walk by what you see. My, my finances do not match up to what he told me the other day. What he told me the other day, it don't even match up to that. That's why I had to keep telling Jackie. That's why I had to keep telling Dr. Courtney Miller, go back, look at it again. And when they came back and they said, these was the figures, Pastor. I said, no, that couldn't have been the figures. They said, no, those were the figures. Then he had to, to another person, he had to remind me today. He said, do you know what the number seven is? <laughs> he said, I'm about to complete some stuff, son. He said, somebody lift your hand right now. He said, I'm about to wipe some stuff out. He said, I'm about to wipe some stuff out. He said, you're going to have to receive this. You have to receive this. I'm about to cause you not to have another sleepless night. I'm about to her shake it. Hoko poshata. Hoto poshete. I'm not. Hoto poshata. Hoto posheke. Hoto poshata. Hoto po. I'm serious. Hata posha. You talk about another level of prayer? God, I lay my hat shack out. You go, that's it. That hallelujah down in use? Thank you, Lord Jesus. I lay my hands on you. You talking about prayer. You talking about prayer. You talking about, I hear the Lord saying, prayer? Yes. Ta -ta, ya ta -ta, ta -ta. Ta -ta. Receive it, receive it. Receive it, receive it, receive it. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, 
Many blessings that the Lord has given me, Vanessa, I've never prayed for. Many things that I have today, when you talk about tangible things, evangelists, I never even prayed for it. I never even prayed for it. I never prayed to build. I never prayed to build. I never prayed for it. I never prayed for it, Mother Jadon. It don't add up because I didn't pray for it. I didn't pray for it. I probably would have stayed right there in that little storefront church and had church like what I was raised up off of and had a great time. We have church. We have a great time. I knew nothing about vision. I knew nothing about V-I-S-I-O-N, vision. All I knew is forsake not to assemble yourself together even the more as you see the day approaching. I never prayed for vision. Vision? Didn't know nothing about no vision. All I wanted to do was be saved. All I wanted to do was be saved, be saved. I wanted to just love Jesus. I, wanted, I just want to thank him for snatching me out of that world that was trying to just suffocate me and kill me and, and to destroy my life. That's all I ever wanted. That's all I ever wanted. That's all I ever wanted. All this other stuff don't add up. It don't add up. Needs it don't add up. Surely don't add up because I didn't pray for this. I didn't pray for this. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. The Lord told me to tell somebody right now, he said, you keep praying. He said, but you pray with right motives. He said, don't come to me always want me to do something for you. He said, come to me, asking me, what must I do? What do you require of me? What do you require of me? And I'm, and I'm praying this over somebody tonight. God just told me to tell you. He said, if you just delight yourself in him, he said, I will give you the desires of your heart. This thing is already done. I say it's already done. Come on, I say it's already done. It's already done. Really, say it again. It's already done. Say it, say it. It's already done. 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 I just heard the Lord say, when the last time you've been broken? I heard the Lord say, when the last time we've been broken? When the last time we've been broken? When the last time we've been broken? When the last... God, what you're doing, it don't even add up. God, what you're doing, it don't even add up. God, what you're doing, it don't even add up. But oh God, I'm gonna give you praise right now in advance. Hallelujah, I'm gonna give you glory right now. Hey, I'm gonna give you praise right now in advance. I'm gonna thank you right now in advance. Hallelujah. Thank you for saving them grandchildren. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Your family looking at you. They don't even understand. Hallelujah. They don't even understand. They don't even understand. Cause it don't add up. <laughs> it don't add up. <laughs> it don't add up. I need 30 people to open up your mouth and give God a praise. If nobody else don't understand why you're praising him, praise him because you know it don't add up. <laughs> It don't add up, it don't add up. But God, since you put me here, since you gave me this opportunity, since you gave me this chance, I'm gonna give you praise, God. Somebody open up your mouth and give him some praise. What he gonna do, son? It don't add up. What he gonna do? Others gonna see it. And they gonna see it. Cause some people look back over your past. Some people look at where you were born at, what you came out of, but to see where you at today, in their own mind, you can't even explain it. 
You can't even explain it. But 30 people give God a praise like you know. God, I thank you. You're supposed to be a drunk tonight. You're supposed to be on alcohol tonight. You're supposed to be on crack cocaine tonight. You're supposed to be on weed tonight. But you ought to, oh, you ought to give God a praise. Because, yeah, you saw my family. Yeah, you know my family tree. Yeah, you know my family history. But look what the Lord has done. I know it don't add up. Hey, 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 hey. I know it don't add up. I know it don't add up. I know it don't add up. Praise him, praise him. I know it don't add up. Praise him, praise him. That's why I can't get too high. That's why I can't get too big in it. Because I know my life just don't add up. But that's, that's why I can't get too big in it. That's why I can't get too high. Because I know this don't add up. Hallelujah. That's why I can't make nobody make me bigger than who God made me. Because I know where I'm at. It don't add up. 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 Hey, hey, glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you for God. Thank you. Thank you. Lord said you're staying busy. You're staying busy for a reason. But God said because of that, I'm going to honor it. But I want you to rest in me. I get the Lord said, I want you to rest in me. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Be careful being too busy. I heard the Lord say that. Not all of us, he said, but to every believer. He said, a lot of time when people stay busy, 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 he said, because a lot of time, you're not either you're running from something that it don't hurt you. He said, but go ahead and rest in me. I got you. I got you now. Lord said, I got you now. Shit, kid. The reason why people are doing a lot because he said they, they either running from something or they just don't want to be hurt. He said, but tell them to rest in me. 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 Now, whoever that word for God told me to tell you, you better receive this. Just receive this. Just receive this now. Just receive this now. Just receive this now. You know, I said one time, sometimes your busyness can become an enemy. When you're so busy, you can pray like you want to pray. When you're so busy, you can't rest in God. You can't let him talk to you like he want to talk to you. Yeah. But the Lord told me to tell you, rest in him. 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 He got you. He got you. You don't have to prove nothing to nobody else. He got you. 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 He keep telling me to tell you, rest in him. That's it, Delilah. Come on. I need that thing to pop out of you. I need that anointing. I need an old-fashioned anointing to hit you so. Yes, Lord. Because he told me he got you. God told me he got you. For the kingdom has need of your prayers. The kingdom has need of that anointing. The kingdom has need of it, Ann. Lift your hand. Yeah, the kingdom has need of it. I told the Lord today, I said, Lord, if you don't just do my, but give me some blessed people that want to pray. Man, it's been heavy in my spirit in that prayer. It's been very heavy in my spirit. God looking for some prayer people. God looking for some people that going to pray. God going to look. God looking. Hey, shata, 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 shata. Tata, oh, shut up. Don't apologize. Don't apologize for your prayer life. We got to go. Don't apologize for your prayer life. Don't apologize for your prayer life. Don't apologize. Don't apologize for your prayer life. That's why God is blessing. That's why God is opening up doors for you. Because he know you're going to pray. He know you're going to pray. 
He, go, he know you're going to pray. 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 The next couple more weeks, we're going to see some praying people. The Lord says, it's the prayer that's going to get us through. Mother Jadon, it's the prayer that's going to get us through. It's going to be the prayer now. And the Lord looking for men and women that's going to pray. Men and women that's going to pray. 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 God said, I got you. Put those hands together. God said, I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. I know we're over. Look, come on, y'all clap those hands a little bit up. Come on. Hallelujah. 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 If you got your gifts, you want to give them to the Lord on tonight. If you're watching, those that can't, well, let's just keep that place of worship, please. Let's keep that place of worship. I'm letting you go. 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 I'm letting you go on tonight. Those that are watching too, as you give tonight. Worship him, daughter. That's right. I want you to keep that brokenness. I want you to keep that brokenness. The Lord's been dealing with me on that, saints. Those that are watching as well, those that are in the house of the Lord on tonight, he said, tell them. He said, I want you to keep that brokenness. God said, because I love a broken spirit and a contract heart. He said, I want you to keep the brokenness. He said, he said I dwell in the brokenness. God said, I dwell in the brokenness. I dwell in the brokenness. I dwell in the brokenness. I dwell, God said, I dwell in the brokenness. I kept hearing that in my spirit. I kept hearing that in my spirit. He said, tell him. He said, I dwell. Look, that's it, daughter. He said, I dwell in the brokenness. He said, because I love a broken spirit and a contract heart. I love a broken spirit. I want somebody that loved me. Not nobody who cares what somebody think or feel about you. I just want somebody who loved me. I want somebody who loved me. I want somebody who appreciate for what I've done for you. Is there 30 people in here happy that the Lord saved you? Is there 30 people in this place? I didn't get into the kingdom for a house. I didn't get into the kingdom for... I got into the kingdom because I wanted the Lord to save me. I just wanted the Lord, thank you. I just wanted the Lord to save me. I, I didn't get in the kingdom for the things. I just wanted the Lord to save me. Just to save me. And I can admit that some of this stuff don't add up, God. I just got into the kingdom because I wanted to be saved. Come on, 20 people, come on. I got into the kingdom because I just wanted to be, thank you, Paula. I just wanted to be saved. I just wanted to be saved. I just wanted to be saved. I didn't want to impress nobody. I didn't want to impress nobody. I didn't want people to see. I just wanted to be saved. And some of you are hated on because some things in your life, they don't add up. And some people can't get past what they see because you can't even explain it. You can't explain why you the way you are. You can't explain why you had to make a mental shift. You can't explain it. I can't explain why. All I know, all I know, at the end of the day, I can't even explain it. it. I can't even explain it. But I give him glory. I give him honor. Come on, 20 people, I give him praise. I'm still, I'm in a metamorphic period of my life. I'm still like a caterpillar becoming a butterfly. I'm still, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still. I'm still. I'm still, thank you, mother. I'm still. And it'll be like that until Jesus comes. Because he said, he who begun this good work in you, 
He's going to complete it right up until Jesus return. Get ready. Hete boshata. Hete boshata. Shakata da da. That's it. That's all you wanted. 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 Come on, that's all you wanted. Let it out of you. Let it out of you. That's all you wanted. And we give you glory, God. We give you honor, God. We give you praise. How you feel? We give you praise, God. God got you. 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 I say, God got you. I say, God got you. The Lord say, the wind is already moving right now, saints. Come on. The wind is moving by the Holy Ghost. Come on. The power of God is moving some stuff right now. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, we give you glory. Oh, we give you glory. Oh, we give you glory. We give you praise tonight. Oh, Somebody say, I don't understand what's going on. Hallelujah. I do. I do. Open up your mouth. Release the Holy Spirit in the atmosphere to go into the airs. Go into the air. Go into the air. Go into the air. Go into the wind. Go into the waves. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Ha, ta, 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 ta. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Ha, ta, 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 ta. Ha, ta, 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 ta. Ha, ta, 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 ta. Oh, we give you glory, God. We give you glory to God. We give you glory, God. I thank you for the anointing. I thank you for the power of the Holy Ghost. Ha, ta, 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 Hallelujah. Lord told me. The Lord told me to tell every man and every woman in the house and watching. He said, tell them to rest in me now. Just rest in me. 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 The next two days, the Lord said, just rest in him. The next two days, rest in him. He know why he doing what he doing. He know why he doing what he doing. He know why he doing what he doing. Hallelujah. Some of you got to shut you from being too busy and too speaking. He just got to get you by yourself. And hallelujah. 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 Matter of fact, I just heard the Lord say, some of you are going in your closet for the next two days. Some of you are about to pray like you ain't never prayed. And matter of fact, he said, tell them. He said, some of you are about to go into the closet and you ain't going to ask God for nothing. You gonna just want to seek his face. God, what you doing? What, what's going? Hey, Kata. What's the head, Kata? Hata, take it, take it. That's it. Hata, take it. Hata, take God, I'm not acting. Hey, Kata, Kata. Oh, glory. I, I felt it. I felt it. He said, he said, this is only for the believers. Matter of fact, he said, I need some people to watch over the city for me. God said, I need somebody to watch over the city. I need some watchmen. He said, I'm looking for some watchmen. I'm looking for somebody that'll watch over the watch over the city. Watch over the city. Yeah, Paula, it's in you. I got that's your hat. Hey, God. Let him use you in your prayer these next two days. Let him use you in your prayer these next two days. Let him use you in your prayer these next two days. Let him use you in your prayer these next two days. Oh, that's for everybody. That's for, hey, go to God. Ooh, go to We got to go, y'all. We got to go. 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 the 
Brother Miller, he needs your prayer. He needs you to intercede. He knows you can do it. He knows he can, he, 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 he. he know you can pray. Get ready for now. He said, I know you can pray. Get ready, I'm going to shut some stuff down. Because I need some watchmen on the wall. I need some watchmen on the wall. I need some watchmen on the wall. I need some watchmen on the wall.
Watch over some mother tonight. Watch over some father tonight. We rebuke fires tonight. I say we rebuke fires tonight. We rebuke, we rebuke, we rebuke it. We rebuke fires tonight. We rebuke it, we rebuke it. We rebuke bad connections in the wires. All on the ground lines. We rebuke it tonight, God. In the name of Jesus, God. Make the waters go back up. I can see the waters. We speak to the drainage system. We speak to the drainage system. We speak to pipelines. We speak to them right now in the name of Jesus. Clap your hand. We speak to St. Petersburg, Florida. We speak to Fort Myers, Florida. We speak all over the Southeast right now in the name of Jesus, God. If you open up your mouth and if you rebuke the wind and if you rebuke the wave, God, you say death.
we're going to give God 30, 40, 50 seconds of a praise right now. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. You don't know how bad I'm trying to let you out of here, but I hear God say, give me a shout, give me a shout. Give me a shout, give me a shout. He said, watch me watch the city again. Watch me watch over the city again. For the next two days, he said, don't ask me for nothing. Because I need you to be the watchman on the wall. I need you to be the watchman on the wall. I need you to be the watchman on the wall. I need you to be the watchman on the wall. Who just saved the city? The righteous, the righteous, the righteous, the righteous. The blood washed church of Jesus Christ. We will cry, we will speak it, we will declare it. We will thank you, God. The saints had to pray. They knew how to pray. And when they prayed, they got an answer from God. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, we have got an answer from God. And God has already said, it's going to be all right. I need 20 people to give God a praise. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. Go tell your neighbor, say, it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. If you watch it, it's going to be all right. I just heard the Lord say, he said, I only allow this to be another shaking. To try to get us, all of us, from the foot, from me as a pastor to all of us, to understand that he needs some. The Lord needs watchmen. He needs people that's going to pray. He don't need us to just get caught up in the now. He don't want us to get caught up in just the things that we have. Uh -uh, he don't want us to get caught up in that. He said, when the last time you got broken for me? When the last time COVID brought a lot of things in? It moved a lot of things out of people's way. A lot of people came up in COVID, but they left their spirit behind. The Lord said a lot of people came up. But then they spirit, they left their spirit behind. And God said, before you go to this next level, he said, not only I'm going to bless you with the things, but I want your anointing. I want your power. Because when these times come like what we're dealing with right now, he need watchmen. He need watchmen that's going to stand on the wall. That they going to pray. That they going to pray. Whether I had the car or not whether I had the business or not, I knew how to pray. 
And how many in this house tonight, you know how to pray. And if you know you know how to pray and you know you can get, as the old saints would say, and you know you can get a prayer through, you better open up your mouth and get this prayer through. Hallelujah. 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 There's some parts of Florida right now got five foot of rain. There's parts, some parts of the city of Fort Myers right now got over five foot of rain going through the city. Going through the city. Cars are floating down the road. Roofs are being ripped off. And God told us that we're in this place. Hallelujah. And all that is man-made stuff. God told me to tell us more than anything. We want to pray. Hallelujah. And believe that every drainage. Hallelujah. It won't even overflow. That the waters will go through the drainage system. And not only will go through the drainage system, but they'll go back into the sea. Come on, somebody. Because if anybody know, we are surrounded around nothing but water. And all it takes is a man and a woman to stand in the gap and let's pray and let's be the watchmen on the wall and let's pray and we know how to pray and we know how to intercede because at the end of the day I see sandbags true enough but God said that I'm going to do what the sandbags can't do I ain't going to let it come now you're dwelling place come on somebody open up your mouth and and give God a praise because God gonna He's gonna watch over all that is ours. Amen. Let's give the Lord another praise. You got to go home. It's it's nine thirty. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor next to you. Tell your neighbor. Look at him real good tonight and tell him. Say whatever you do, the next two days, stay in much prayer. Cover the people, of God. Cover your neighborhood. And anoint yourself with fresh oil. In Jesus' name. Amen. Give the Lord a praise as we be going on tonight. Tell your neighbors I love you in Jesus' name. I love you. Hallelujah. I love you in Jesus' name. Thank you for joining us. We pray you were blessed by today's service. Remember to follow us on all social media platforms and subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view a library of past messages to feed your faith. If you would like for us to pray for you, visit greaterworksfamily.com to send us your prayer requests. Remember to always make sure you tune in on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. and Sundays at 9.30 a.m. I hope you have an amazing day and an even more amazing week. And remember, God has great things in store for you.